Life is fleeting, as is victory. In these chaotic times, only the strongest can survive the storm that ravages China. The weak are not so fortunate. Outmaneuvered and isolated, a faction was crushed into oblivion. But the Phoenix may ever return from the cinders. And again, I must remind you, lady, that that basically never happens. This world dust doesn't tend to come out to more than dust. New generations blossom from the labors of their forebears. Life springs eternal, and infinite wisdom and effort has given way to the renewal of life. A birth in your family, and the continuation of your lineage. No, you didn't. Uh, uh, you, actually, uh, you actually just missed it. I just beat the entire game. Uh, within the first uh, three minutes of the stream starting. It was incredible and amazing, and you missed every moment of it. I'm so, so sorry. Anyways, greetings, mortals. I am Kareel, Chef of Gunatorpia Sharp, but today I am the general of 10,000 victories. And we are back in three kingdoms. Total War three kingdoms, of course. And uh, as we uh, expand outwards on the map, we can sort of see the paint, uh, the picture that is being painted here. Uh, you'll notice that we have this sort of... Uh, I'm not... I don't think it's quite gray. I don't think it's quite gray, but it's very close. And that is, of course, my territories of the Kingdom of Wei. Uh, you'll have these gr this green, uh, this sort of forest green, I think it is. Uh, and we got some that's representing loot. Bay. We have some that's representing Jingjiang. We have the orange here in the middle that's representing Gongsun Chuxiang. And uh, let's see, there's Liu Yan over here. We have, of course, this sort of pinkish color that's Ma Chao. And all of these are my territories. Oh, and this brown that's Wang Lang. I don't remember if Shang Huang is part of our empire. Uh, Liu Yao with this gray in the middle, and you can see in the middle right here is. And then, um, Chi Chi, I believe we have, Xiao Yu Zhu, um, don't remember much, uh, we have some other vassals, I think, here and there, but that's most of it. And then, of course, uh, to the north, the white is the Duchy of Yan, whom we managed to steal their capital from. So, they have, uh, decided to, so they've been forced to return to a duchy instead of a kingdom and have withdrawn uh, their bid for emperorship, but we still have Sun Che and the Kingdom of Wu, which, as you can see, is on its own the largest of the factions, even larger than me. It's a little harder to tell for me because I have like some stuff over he along here as well as what I have here, but I believe overall that they are bigger. But I have significantly more allies and vassals, so does it matter much? Nope, I don't think so. Let's see. And as you can see, my allies are rallying around to help push back the forces of Dong Suzan and the Duchy of Yan. Because uh, we are still at war with them even after we remove them from Emperorship. Just need to be careful about uh, them potentially getting more of our territory before we are able to get us uh, begin our pushback. We also, I notice, have obscene amounts of money. We're getting 12k a turn because of all the... Uh, Mostly because of all the tributaries we're getting, like... Taxes are a lot, but our up armory group is more. But between taxation and family estates, that's covered. Uh, we're doing some tributary payments right now, but eventually those won't be being paid, I don't think. Uh, we're doing some light tribute, uh, which was a method, I believe, of trying to get other people to join, uh, to become vassals. Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, yeah. It... This city right here is, I believe, still considered one of the Emperor seats. As you can see, like, when it says the uh, King... Let's see, let me just verify. 
Yeah, because you'll notice that if we come over here, when we look at the city of Li Shi, you can see that over the little title card, it has it says Kino Away over it. So that's an indication that this is one of the three uh, emperor seats. So if another faction takes the uh, the city, they would be able to enter the running for emperorship. Fortunately, the only uh, faction that is not an ally or a vassal in this area is Gong Suzan, who of course we took it from and whose lands around the area are being taken. Uh, I just uh, sort of, yeah, I last time really uh, messed up this army and I plan to finish them off. And then we have uh, one of Gong Sun Xiang's armies besieging this city. And then uh, Ma Chao is over here trying to take back the territories that uh, Gong Suzan has over here. So between them, this city is pretty secure. And then of course there's my capital, uh, Su Yang uh, in Chen. And as I mentioned last time, you can see that my vassals have each sent an army to stay in the vicinity around uh, my capital to offer protection in case someone tries to uh, take it. So between that and the existing uh, garrison, which contains looks like six protectors of heaven, so heavy glaive infantry, very difficult to get rid of. And then six defenders of earth, which are very, very good uh, archers. The Ratchley roll is considered bombardment as opposed to something normal because they also have like oil arrows, so they really can. Uh, they're really good at like controlling the battlefield. And then we have two uh, Jian cavalry captains as well, so we also have some cavalry here. And that's on top of all of these other armies that are nearby. Like we even have Kai Mao, who's actually the leader of one of my vassal factions. And then we got Liu Dai over here. We got Shang Feng Yang. Oh, Cheng Huang sent two armies. No, no, this is Dong Li from, uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is, yeah, Dong Li from, uh, Liu Bei's faction. And then Kong Zhou from Kong Zhou. So, I'm not, at this point, too worried. Someone would need to make quite the concentrated offensive to actually take either capital. But in the meantime, I'm going to quickly just take a look, because we have a number of options we could do for... Construction. And right now it's a matter of consideration on what is most important to protect. Because right now we know that King Meng Huo declared war on us. So some of these territories right here are most at risk. So it may be a good idea to try and work on those. So for instance, a Beidong over here, we upgrade that, increase its garrison. That would be a good idea. Uh, same here with Shang Yong. This one's also important because this one's a weaponsmith. So as I upgrade this, every turn there's a chance of getting a good weapon uh, just for free from owning this. And upgrading it increases the chance of it being of it increases the chance of it happening and increases the chance of it being a uh, higher quality weapon. And you can even get like certain unique weapons from these. So very very good uh, to try and prioritize those. I also have a lot of passes, which are these, of course. Uh, Walls that are meant to help uh, serve as a bulwark against invasions, depending on who owns it. Like, we have Wu Pass over here. Um, I'm trying to, I don't remember where Wu Pass is, though. Uh, it's right here. Okay. Of course, Wu Pass, you can see here, uh, there's not really any enemies nearby, so there's not, like, a dire need to upgrade that. The only one that I might consider is, like, Kui Pass over here. But even so, uh, to get to it, you would have to be either in my territory or in my vassal's territory. So even then, I don't know if it's actually worth spending the money to do so. It might be better to focus on other things. Maybe. Chen. Can I upgrade things in Chen? Okay, I may want to try and... I'm going to make sure to upgrade this next time. But now... Just gonna find some cities that have random buildings like this to upgrade. And do that now. And it's harvest season, so three turn. Uh, well, yeah, three turns. Technically two because this one's about to end, but until we can. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. All right, I have a thought here. 
first. Let me talk you to you by who. My day. Yeah, I figured. Bent All right. What I'm going to do is and go over here into these trees. We're going to ambush stance. Patience can snare any. And we're going to hope to try and lure Beyond by who to leave uh, his only holding so that we can take it ourselves. Because at that point, without any uh, holdings of his own, his army will start suffering from attrition. This also works. Him moving to just right there, um, I can just attack him from, from, uh, from where I am. That also works. Thank you. Very kind of you. And I'll take this moment to actually uh, sort of go back to Eden's question about the capital. If I had been, there are certain factions, uh, Kong Rong for instance, who you can play as, but they are considered a uh, governor faction, which means that they actually can't declare themselves emperor to win the game. So for them, if even if they like reach the king rank, they can't actually like declare themselves emperor. They can't win the game that way. What they have to do is wait until the other three, until the other kingdoms start showing up. The ones that are like part of the warlord factions, like Sao Sao or Gong Su Zan or Liu Bei, or so on and so forth. And once those capitals start, uh, those like emperor seats start springing up, then you have to take one of those and then be declared emperor that way. And that's how you have to win the game as a governor faction. Which, of course, isn't uh, helpful corruption. to us right now because we're south, so. But I figured I should point that out since it came up. Focus hey, Yambai Who. Are you going to run, huh? You're going to run? Shout fury. All right. Time to go fight the last remaining uh, bandit faction. Zheng Zheng has joined me, which I'm actually really pleased that happened. Um, and then we have Yambai Who over here. Should be able to beat them. They we vastly outnumber them. I think the, technically, like percentage-wise, his troop quality might be better. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think so though. But I mean, we have like our crossbows alone are equal to half of his army, and that's not including the fact that well, none of his uh, red uh, units you can see here on the right. None of them are at full strength. Whereas, obviously, my entire army is at full strength because it's been spending all this time marching over here. Alright, let's see. Actually, back to army. Now, if I remember correctly, crossbows in this game have a longer range than normal bows. Uh, that being said, I don't also I don't don't remember how many bow units they have, but it shouldn't it doesn't really matter. Um, and the reason I'm pointing this out is because I think I'm going to pick the eagle's wings. I don't have any cavalry, so this mostly just sort of slightly moves around the troops a bit for me. And then we put them like this, and as they get closer, our crossbows will lay into them, and then when they get even closer, we can uh, just crush them with an overwhelming number of spear units. We'll grind them into the dust. And also I'm going to build this right here. And I'm going to build this right here. To add protection for our crossbows on that side. And then we'll put this here. Because then if they try to flank us on this side, we can light that up. And let me quickly look, okay. Do so you increase the cooldowns for their abilities when they're too close? You have a really powerful uh, melee attack ability that reduces melee evasion by 100% for whoever you hit with it. Yanwei has this, which increases charge resistance and melee evasion. That's really good for like when combat's about to convene. And then you have a passive that gives you more damage if your health goes below 20%. Being said, let me check the duel. 
Okay, Yan Bai Hu is hidden. His brother Yan Yu is a. We can obviously see him. And I'll send Zhu Chu to do that. Yeah. I must prevail. Crossbows at the ready. Fire! Fire! Oh, Yan Hai Bei has that ability, right? Oh well. That was a number of losses, but it's fine. As the mighty oak falls, so must you. And we you use the air shattering strike here. Let's take a look and see if we can watch that. Oh! Watch out! The enemy lies in wait for us! Oh, that was nice. That was brutal. Okay, so their archers actually have a good range on them, unfortunately. And Yamba, who doesn't want to duel, that's fine. He's going to hold the line, as we mentioned before. Zuchu is about to finish off Yan Yu. There we go. They were no match. And Yan Bai Hu has gone berserk because we took out his brother, which makes sense. Now, if you could get on your horse. Steal yourself. Do you need a horse. moment to prepare? Horse. I wait. I was going to let you live until now. The time has come. There we go. That's what I needed. No, I will not accept that duel. I'm not a fool. Oh, we will activate Unyielding Earth. Stand ready. Move out quickly. Now, of course, they did try to run from us before, so I don't actually have to, like... If, if I can get them all to route, that's enough. Attend. That'll be enough to ensure victory. So... Just like that. Our victory grows ever closer! And just do that. To attention! Fight! No wait, no, them. Pick them, pick them, thank you. Good. And now we will assure that they leave. Earth shattering strike! Earth shattering strike! Go! Alright. Very nice. We do have the UA Remnant Warriors, but that will only help them so far. I don't know where Yumba who went. He's in his stock stance again, unknowingly. Move, move. You know what Up I'm gonna to do? Hold on. Let's do this. Two on one should be sufficient to the win this. I think. Now crossbows are firing into the cavalry that never moved in because they were too weak to do so against those spears. The cavalry is trying to right now help their leader, which makes sense. Stand ready. But as you can see, everyone's morale is starting to run low now that the crossbows are firing into everything else. That unit is having a real bad time. Come on! Amazing that you can both talk and battle. And victory has been secured quite easily. Didn't have to do very much, just had to have the spearmen hold the line here, as you can see. If they could somehow dehorse Yon Baihu, that would be great. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. Well, you stopped them for a moment. Alright, let's just fast forward. See if we can knock out Yan Bai Hu. Oh, horses are getting more tired. They're not able to actually catch up at this point. 
Unless Yamba Hoop becomes more tired, they're probably not going to catch up to him. I'll attack this. I don't think that'll help, but, you know, why not? All right. He got away. That's fine. They already retreated from us once, so they can't actually run away now. Crossbows took an annoying a number of losses there because of Yanbai who having a... He has that one special ability where he just fires a flurry of arrows that do extra damage. The people's voice cannot be silenced. Yep. As you can see, though, Yum Yu didn't actually die. He's just wounded because he's one of the special characters. But to work. That army's gone now. China is people, not its oppressive warlords. So now we can do this, and I'm gonna start Strike them out. I'm gonna give Yum Bai Hu the chance to reconsider his ways. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Speak, see. and then be Obviously, gone. still interested you in are peace. Ruining my day. But unless he was willing to join us, uh, I will not accept any other terms of surrender at this time. Let's see. Oh, we got a lot of people who gain new traits this turn. Weird. We also got a brown stallion. Cross That's them. good. We'll give that to Dion Wei in light of his recent victory. It's slower, but it has more mass and has a higher charge bonus and increases the chances of capturing enemy generals after the battle. He's Twin Marshal G. I'd rather give him? I think so. I'd give him the Marshal G, but it doesn't give as, as much... Uh, All right. And then so Chu got a, uh, can level up. Uh, he's an administrator, so I think we want to try and go down here. Yeah, we want to try and get this. We'll head along that path. Do this to give you a little more authority. And... Doesn't, we don't really need another thing for that. I give you the Heavenly Sword, but I also don't think that's necessary. Alright, and then... Maybe also Sao Shan Chin. But we'll give you that for now. That. And you I will give the Heavenly Sword to because you're Oh no, wait, no. Well no, you don't you don't need it. Uh Sao Fan. A lot of kids. Uh we'll fix stability for now. There we go. As mentioned before, I will upgrade start upgrading. My capital into an imperial city which is the highest level of city and we'll make it uh i don't remember if that increases the does that increase the i think that improves the garrison it doesn't increase the number of how many are in the garrison but that's fine and then at some point we'll also see if we can i get the reform that allows me to upgrade this more be this one now help us upgrade the garrison even more and basically just make the capital city extraordinarily difficult to capture. And now we can see that Song uh, Jingting trying to move this way for some reason. Them out. But it's not going to go well. I could fight this battle, but if you look over here, you'll see that well, none of her units include like apart from one general, none of her units are even at half strength this isn't really worth it but wouldn't be worth the time so we'll just do that get her out of the way my tactics were unmatched gain an auxiliary auxiliary two auxiliaries three auxiliaries and we have uh, Lu Yan He over here who is not willing to join us um he has a G of the Imperial Guard. I'm sorry, my friend, but it looks like your faction's about to be downsized. Deal with them. All right. 
And then you're also an administrator. Getting rid of administrators is a pretty good idea. But I'll release you and get the little extra income. Let them go. It matters not. And I'll also get more income from here because they are insignificant. Being in my own territory is going to give me a lot of. Uh, they're going to be replenished by the end of this turn, regardless. So it doesn't really matter. Then we have Cell P continue moving this way. Our cause is just and noble. And you can see that. Kung Su Zan is actually right over here, self, along with Han Chong. Still don't have any spies. Um, if we find potential turncoats that's in a faction that I would want to infiltrate, I might. But looking through this, I think it's just my own vassals that have certain people that they don't, they're having issues with. Which, in theory, there's still a reason hire some of these people, but overall it's not worth it. Alright. My blade is poised. Victory belongs so to we can us. continue moving our forces this way to try and help uh deal with Kung Suzan. Still not at war with Sun Che, which is good. Technically, we're with uh, Meng Ho, but so far, like, he really doesn't want to, but I'm not too worried about him, because he hasn't really seen the try and actually attack us or anything like that yet. And obviously, the Kingdom of Wu is not interested in abdication, just letting me have my victory. But that's fine. I am nothing if not patient. Upgrade this. How high does this go? Oh, that is the, that's the last one. All right, that's fair. Uh, we don't really need to upgrade that. Uh, we can upgrade this though. Give us more trade influence and more income from commerce here. And. Again, we have a bunch of passes we can upgrade, but those I don't need to do. Why not? Yeah, we'll do this and upgrade this. This. Well, Fang no longer can upgrade, but I need to start upgrading that because this is literally a small town. This is the lowest tier of uh, settlement. Which means it gives two prestige, has a population capacity of 200,000 and 10 reserve capacity. Which, if I can directly compare that to what the Imperial City of Sui Young will look like when that's finished. That's 50 prestige, a population capacity of 7.5 million, 46 food production to sustain that population, 100 income from peasantry, 150% income from commerce, and 50 reserve capacity. On top of, of course, having 6 building slots, walls, and a much stronger garrison. Interesting, yelling by who did not try to make peace with us. <sighs> well, whatever. He still took a decent number of losses there. More losses he takes. The easier it will be to get rid of that army once my armies arrive. And he won't be able to, at least he won't be able to take any of the cities quickly. Because unless he has siege engines with him, he needs to construct them to actually be able to assault the city and that gives us time. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, you left the coalition. Dang. Oh, Yang Fang died. No. You can say, oh uh, yeah, he was one of my administrators. Um, let's, see. let's just take a look at see. That's pretty good. An Anyue would be a good choice. Yeah, do that. And good city. Let's put you in charge of Wei. Yeah. 
specifically to help defend in the event that you know who comes knocking. Oh, interesting. Can't actually be deployed. I didn't notice that. That's interesting. Huh. A very cool blade. Does not get along with a uh, self self for obvious reasons. But that is also fun. Our food's negative? Ugh. I mean, it, it's fine. It'll only be for the winter, then it'll go back to positive. I'm not too worried about that, but that's a pity. Even a single moment of weakness is undesirable. It stoked the fires of. Do this. Yeah. Yeah, because. Although, I should probably look to see if there's. Yeah, I should probably just do this for now. This will help, again, give me more credibility, and that's always useful. Over here, you can see that my allies are attacking on ping. Very good. And they've managed to take Inguan, so they'll hopefully start moving over here towards Fanchi. Then. How far can. No, you can't go very far. Alright, we'll do that march. for now, because you're at full. Xiong is a axe upgraded uh, minor settlement, so should be safe to put Wage in over there. And then the oh we can upgrade this, yeah. Anything to bol help further bolster food supplies. Well, upgrade that. Get this. Uh, I don't suppose we can. I uh, hear a bunch of passes, but no benefit to upgrading those still. Can we could upgrade the academy? Might as well do that. All right, and eat them. You do. Yep, and these territories are being fixed up over here, so we can start sending Sao Sao. But theoretically, starts trying to send them down like this way towards King Ming Ho, but I don't know if that's necessary. I think I'll just set, start sending Sao Sao this way as well. All right, there we go. Looks like they tried to send someone north to help uh, their friend that's being attacked up there, but did not have sufficient forces to do so. If they could send Gong Tzu Zan, that would be different, but... Speaking of which, deflect with shield, cleave with sword. Be ready to spring. Standard stance. Do this now. Open the faction council. All right, we could seek a new character. We could have someone marrying. We could uh. Complete Gong Suzan. We could ha have Gong Suzan's replenishment and military supplies be uh, reduced. Improve the commandery infrastructure of Ba. 
contaminate uh, Jiangdu, which is definitely not necessary. We could take a politic political hostage from a vassal. I don't think is necessary. And they're disliking us more, but I don't really care. Bit smear and perk. I think I'll do that, yeah. That'll help me most in the long run. And then reform choice, as mentioned before, we can uh, go grab this. Allow us to get better garrison places. And our food's back out to a good place, but... I may need to continue focusing on improving our food infrastructure just so that fortunate situation from before doesn't happen again. Continue sending in Cao Cao. How are things looking over here? Oh, you guys are helping out a lot. All right. So, Yan. Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. Ah. <sighs> Well, never let it be said I didn't try. For China! Oh, right. Night Battle does that. Yeah, um... I know what I'm gonna do. All of China will benefit from our success. Let none stand against our unified strength. They are defenseless without this force. Defeat it! And isn't All this correct. talk masks your fear. Come on, battle is calling. Damn, Zuchu calling out Dion Wei like that. All right, so as you can see, this is a somewhat fortified position. We have certain passes that are guarded by towers that have to be the main approach. Uh, we don't have any naval forces because this game doesn't have naval forces, so this entire section of the map is pointless. And obviously our goal is to route the enemy or take this point that represents the city center. Now, what I could, what I could do, what I could do, you see, is I could send in my army and take significant losses from the towers and eventually uh, conquer the enemy force. But, as the esteemed general of 10,000 victories, I know of an alternate uh, route towards ultimate success. And that is to keep my force way back here and let my allies who are pouring in from either side go do take care of this themselves. But notice that this army seems to be coming out of the town and towards me. Which is certainly a decision on their part. Especially since they're splitting off other forces towards my allies. I'm not I'm not sure if they planned this thoroughly. I almost feel like they would have done better just staying where they were. Seeing that I don't have any, uh, you know, siege weapons. That would have had to come to them. And as it stands, them pulling out their forces is causing a number of their units to waver just from approaching forces that they have no choice, uh, no chance Look, of defeating. The enemy run. As you can see, their their force is already breaking uh, before they've even gotten close to being in combat. We got two of them already uh, shattered. Not even routing, but shattered, so they can't even come back to the battle. 
And that number's gone up to four units now. Five. Six. Yeah, like... They're getting shot at over here, but it's entirely possible that... The entire enemy army is going... The garrison is going to rout before they've even actually gotten into proper combat. Which, if this unit breaks, uh, is going to be what happens. And so, in the interest of doing that... And since, uh, my own personal experiment is not gonna happen... Oh, no, they broke it. We've won. Well, that was extraordinarily underwhelming. What I was hoping to have happen, uh, that would have been at least slightly interesting, is I was hoping that they would stay where they were, and then I could just watch my allies slowly move in and uh, lose their soldiers instead of me lose mine. But uh, obviously that didn't end up happening. Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. I'm gonna take this. Only by growth will the word be spread. And Yan Bai Hu is gone. Resist corruption and endure hardships. That is to say, his faction is gone, of course. Wait. Wait. I just demolish this. Let me just demolish this. I can't actually use this. I'm gonna repair it and then have to demolish it anyway. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see. So yeah, going back over here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Our forces are moving over here. Might build up another army like Chen, maybe. Maybe Hine? What way? You, you might be a good place to build an army. He's one of mine, right? I think so. Yeah, Luji is uh, Lu Bei's daughter. No, sorry, not Lu Bei, Lu Bu's daughter. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we get. Bring in Lu Yi, the Minister Draw of the Guards. Inwards. Then we can bring in uh, Tao Shang. Trust with conviction and, and Chen Ju. That gives us an almost I entirely full army uh, immediately. It has some... This is actually a pretty good... This is a good Renu right here. This one we could probably do with... Uh, Round. Do like this, for instance. Uh, keep the archers. Then come over here and upgrade these guys. Uh, some gear guards going here and here. Turn this guy into a spear guard. Then what we'll do is we'll convert this one into. Uh, you know, we'll make you a defender, or, and then we'll just straight up recruit another one. There we go. And actually, now that I look at it, ah, oh, no, we can't do that. Never mind. All right. Well, I'll give us another army that we'll be able to use very quickly, and is already in a position where it's obviously going to help Reflect in the event that they attempt to siege the city. And then we can upgrade some of some of these to help bolster the garrisons. There we go. All right. We still are making over eight thousand a turn. I did notice it just went down to seventy six hundred, but even so, that's still a lot. If it's still over like five thousand, that's still a lot of money we're making. You know. All right, well, that's not what I expected them to do, but you know what? I can work around that. That is entirely doable. Uh, they've switched out the stronger army for a weaker army, so we can just take Ji uh, Chiang right back. Someone has 
Then, forest fires. Damaged parts of my capital. And uh, in the case of the director of the commandery especially, uh, there was a semi-significant amount of money having to put into those repairs. But it's not Purge terribly chaos. important. Harden your hearts. Anyway, Selfie is going to besiege this. And then we're going to set the starve no out for mercy. now. Because I want to move in Yue Jin, who will move out of Ambush Dance to help support. At ease. The goal is fixed. And then China. we do this and we demand surrender. Towards destiny. In doing so, we're able to take the settlement without having to suffer any actual combat losses. Thrust with conviction and, and strike then, true. Let's see. And then we'll just put Yue Jin back into ambush stance. Remain drawn to strike quickly. In the hopes that Gong Suzan will take the bait. Although actually, the sweltering heat threatens movement. to loosen focus. Actually, we don't even need to do that. I think. Yeah, I think we can just do this. I think we can just send Louis uh, Lu Ji to besiege this, and then bolster by Yue Jin's forces. My should aim is precise. be enough. Yeah, I think this should this should work. Although we would take less fewer losses if ah eh, well it's fine. Strike as one. Two arms. And we'll start the star out. Captain knows this disposal. guy appears to have normal armor. Do we not have special armor? Now we do. Good. Give you the G of the Imperial Guard we got earlier. I don't have any mounts free. Um, you are an administrator, so we'll do this. Bolster our food production. Then do this. The bolster up your resolve more. Remain firm. And then you Jin position here. Moving as one. And act as reinforcements. For justice. And there we go. Now it's a decisive victory, so we will definitely win. Uh, they refuse to attack. They, they refuse to give up the settlement, so we'll just keep Gung Suzan stuck there. That's an army of theirs that's uh, no longer able to act. So I'll send Sao Sao towards Ye. And it looks like Kong Rong's starting to push uh, northwards into Gong Suzong's territory, so... Between them and Gong Sun Chu Chiang, we should be pretty... Pretty set, I think. Fix that. And, like I said, let's see if we can... bolster food production anywhere? Oh, like... Alright, you know what? We'll convert this back into something that's producing food instead of using it. Then upgrade. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Get food there. By now, we can upgrade also to improve garrison, and that should be good for now. The Goji Hungba is honest, apparently. At least two are rivals. Pushing one of mine. I think pushing is pushing not one of mine. It yeah, maybe fudging is. I don't remember now. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We don't care. Can't expect perfect harmony. Uh, once you've reached a certain, you know, uh, size of empire. You, it just gets to a point where you. It's no longer possible to ensure that everyone gets along with each other. There's just too many people. But at the least, you can try and sort of set things so that people who don't like each other spend as little time around each other. Unless you want to use that as a tool to help them succeed by uh, creating some sort of competitive rivalry. Yay! That's how's a granddaughter. Oh, we could call reinforcements. Uh, we don't need that though. Not necessary. 
do have a scheme available though. Okay, so nothing we can do that would help us if like Have this option. I don't doubt that there's any. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah. Oh, we could do this. Anyone I want to use this? No. All right, fine. Um, okay, this garrison has already run out of space. I don't need to worry about that. Wish would give me options that bet I could use like beneficial ones for allies, but it's fine. do this though. That'd be pretty mean to do the Gong Suzan and reduce the charge bonus of his calf. There are also some options we could do here, but they're not really necessary at this juncture. Oh well. Uh we don't need to use the scheme. We can always just leave it for later. Remain sharp. And we're basically going to keep holding up here until the project predicted casualties go down to, like, eat low. Because we can't go fight this right now, but... Especially since we'd get the catapult in with the reinforcements, but... Push forward. And war is generally better to try and avoid losses as much as possible, so we will not. Unless... Unless, of course... Resist the chaos of change. Eh. Let's just, yep, there we go. Hey! You had a chance, and, it will and you did not yours. take it. I got lots of money for it. Oh, we could hire someone new. Oh, she has the heavenly sword on her. That's pretty Not the best Red New, but he's selfless and gracious, so that sounds pretty good overall. Unified in intention, those who oppose harm must be crushed. All right, now that that's done, clarity shines the path. We can start sending forces up towards Anping. Do not yield. The Welcome, my lord. Boji over here can be upgraded. Do unpredictability. It gives him Ren new a uh, guerrilla deployment for his Ren new, and then local armies will have minus two more pounds. That's nice. Over here, uh, Tao Shang can be upgraded. Glory. Nasty of Steel is good for battle. And then we'll give you. Oh. Can't give me any of the good stuff, apparently. Oh well. Oh, hold on. Oh, we can... Wait. Oh, uh, I guess... Not yet. But uh, next turn we can send Lady Feng to be a spy if we want. Which again, I don't really think that's very... Yeah. At this point, there's not really a point in spies. Uh, and then we we'll Gong Cheng. That will help us. As you can see, our food went up significantly because of this. Because of that and some other upgrades. As this gets added on to the bonus from that. This. Oh, there's another one that's using up food. Let's go... 
that as well. There we go. Uh, all right, we'll upgrade this again. Again, the upgrade armory is definitely good. We could upgrade this into Grand Judiciary or an office for seals and archives. Now, where's GFB? It's actually next to a number of our others. The one that gives less corruption on the adjacent commanderies might be of more use. Now let's do that. Excellent. Then any non-passes that we can upgrade. Well, there's Chen, but I'm gonna hold off just to make sure that I can upgrade this into the Imperial Palace next turn. That will be very nice. Oh, I forgot to move uh, Dion Wei's army. Oh well. There's nothing in particular importance that we need to focus on there, so it doesn't really matter. Let us talk trade. There weren't you, young. Oh. Very well. We don't need to. You're nowhere. N oh no, wait. You are near Liu Young, but we don't need to declare war. On you. Especially since I don't even have any armies over there to like fight them. I had like at least one army over there, maybe. Energetic versus quiet. Confucius says it does not matter how slow you go, so long as you do not stop. There are some who would bemoan a glacial pace. However, in lieu of more direct, energetic action, is one greater than the other? The air is silent. You continue your contemplation. Slow and steady wins the race, don't you know? You know, sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. But what, what, what are you going to do about that? Do the hawk and tiger maneuver. But let's see. Okay, so Gong Suzan has now replaced himself back over here and added himself to Yuan Tan's army. Which is interesting because Yuan Tan is one of Yuan Shao's son. So. We are as one. I guess uh, Yuan Tan got hired. Or rehired, that is. Which is there anyone of interest over here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. There's no unique characters there. Oh, I do have Fashing. Apparently employed as a garrison gen. Interesting. Doesn't like someone else we have. Oh well. At any rate, uh we'll send Cell P to go take this. Strike as one. Our cause is just and noble. And let's just make this a night battle. And why not? We'll actually fight this one. This is actually a nice army. I like it. Very nice mix of units. Ours is the path of clarity and stability. They are a blight on all of China. The days may shorten, but we cannot rest early. Only through your silence can I know peace. It's funny because it's October, so it actually is getting colder here as well. Well, I mean, it's not cold per se, but it's colder. Anyway, as you can see, a significant amount of my army can actually be uh, moved up if I wish. However, I have the multiple boat crossbows, so I don't actually feel the desire to do so. Instead, we will adopt the cautious dragon stance. And we'll take up position on this hill. Cavalry, stand ready! As so. And yeah, let's just do that, I guess. It really doesn't matter. Alright, 
um, want to match their army conditions. Let's do that. So have people slightly adjust, and then I think we need to move them forward a bit. So that the multiple folk crossbows can uh, get a good fire point. Matter of fact, we need a little more. Oops. Shoot. Forgot about that. Ah, bad. So move to somewhere like this. That should be good. Make ready. Oh right, there's a the garrison. There's no one in the duel. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. and just the infantry if possible. All right, we're gonna move them forward like this. Whoops. Ugh. All right. And with that done, then we can take both of these and this. All right. charge uphill which is not ideal for a charge and we'll do this look at the enemy run craven to attention strike your targets sword strong fight run faster all right go after the routing ones Head into their back lines. Can you please start Let's firing fly. these? Fire! What is your problem? Fire! Substitutes, yada yada yada. The enemy unit flees. What coward! Charge into there. You guys are trying to hold, but yeah, I didn't think so. Wow, this archer militia is just. Sticking around, huh? Oh. Very bold of them. I would have expected them to break immediately. Oh well. Victory is all. Especially with such few losses. Are coming to pass. 
Alright, we'll occupy this. It will prosper for the better under my rule. Remain and poised. You'll move the path here. is clear. And enter the ambush stance. Be ready to spring. And we'll activate the Hawk and Tiger maneuvers. Oh, I shouldn't have done that for you. I should have done that for Sao Sao. Oh well. It's too late. Nothing to do. You over here so that they don't get any funny ideas. Prepare my chambers. This will be short. Really wish that I could put other conditions on top of this, but because it's an alliance thing, I can't. But yeah, if I can get them to accept this, then I will have peace. Not before then. Oh yeah, you also noted. I am respected because I'm fighting against the enemies of the Alliance. That is one of the main reasons that Alliance Wars may often be preferable to the normal one. Anyway, let's go get the Imperial Palace built, eh? Then these police headquarters. And the uh, Academy. Convert this. Uh, upgrade this. Get more food. Why not? Oh, has it been 10 turns? Oh, uh, that's what it did. Oh no. We're still putting 80 towards diplomacy. Wow. Still buff surplus of over 100? That's insane. Maybe my allies need food. You guys don't need food, right? I'm giving you guys food, right? Okay, you could use food. Hold on. Welcome. Come in. Let's offer food and you know. a kind and considered offer. He doesn't tell me food you need. Plus, fine. Blue dice saying no. I Jung, Ping Jung. All right. I am not in the mood. Declare an alliance for you. Get rid of Gongdu. Be a good idea. So, you at war with anyone else right now? Oh, yeah, you're at war with other people, so it may not be worth it. Just let other people take care of you, because you have, like, what, one territory? Right over here? So, I think home might take care of you for me. That'd be nice. Uh. Some construction still available, but I guess that's not stuff I'm interested in. Anything's ready. We've got a noble store. Nice. All right. Well, we'll come to Zondu next. He just For leave on me. Consideration. Ping. You have a negative trend toward. You know what? I will reject this. A rude rejection. You are no longer my vassal. I have determined that I have no need of you. And you didn't like me anyway. I know you were insulting me beside behind my back, so take this as an insult behind your back. An insult in the form of a metaphorical dagger. That's what you get for having problems with me. Anyway, let's get back to it. Two bears, one kill. Let's do this. There we go. That scheme's activated. And then... We will send three different armies to no deal with this. For China. Oh, we can just fight this. Okay. I'll just delegate. Those who oppose harm okay. must crush. Some of them took a lot of a lot more damage than I thought they would, but oh well. We must lay foundations if we are to rebuild. 
Resume standard positions. Do not yield. Also heading towards Young. Done. Two arms. And we have catapults here, so we'll also delegate that. So we can do that immediately. Celebration is due. Let the wine flow. We'll occupy that. Uh, we could artificially improve their uh, population, but yeah, sure, why not? There's not too many losses we had anyway for the first place. Oh, you can march all the way to Bow High from here. Crazy. This will be short. Anyway, how are you feeling, buddy? I don't think so. Although, I might actually do it. A satisfactory deal. Do that. We thought you dead. Okay. All right, well, we're not at war with him anymore. That's good. We did gain more territory from it. And I think at this point, Gong Suzan is in a state where he is no longer strong enough to be able to put up any resistance. And if he does, I'll just start up a new army and send it to go fight him and take some more cities from him. In the meantime, we have other places to go and people to see. Right here we need is where we need to go. And I know just the path to get there. Alright. Alright, so this will take ten turns. Can we? I even march team. Okay, we can get there in less. Oh, Soon Ren is part of Shing Huang's faction. When did that happen? Pretty sure that's Soon Chase's sister. Well, whatever. As I walk this land of homes and families. I see China's beauty. All right, next. It'll take you six turns to get here. Then I'll send you two in. Dianwei is obviously the closest. What I'm gonna have him do is... I'm gonna have him send, go down the Lin High. Also, we're going to upgrade these. Good. Uh, way we can upgrade this. Yep. Good. Get this. All right. So yeah, now I guess we can leave Sao Pi and Yue Jin up here just in case Kong Su's declares war on us. Or if I decide to send them west over here. I don't think that'll be a problem. Looks like Liu Bei's uh, kind of got things in hand with two full armies and another half army. So now all that's left is to take the Kingdom of Wu's capital. And in doing so, I will assure that I am the only Emperor candidate left. Which, obviously, by default, means that I'll become the Emperor. It's factual faction counts for time again. We can assign advanced scout patrols. Cultural company focus. We can train in a retainer. And 
force deployment capacity. That might be a good idea. This might be a good idea. Might be able to get some armies over there a little faster. Get some marriages going, get some auxiliaries. Need logistics of enemy armies. Do this. Go over here. Good. Do this and get more food from farming. So at this point, we don't need it. I'm gonna do this and reduce build upkeep again. I gave us a bunch more money. Nice. Now what I can China do is... Will rise. You beckon? Welcome, my lord. Your presence is heartening. Be the sword. That will ensure that they get there a little faster. Oh yeah, you're right at the coastline. This is actually faster for you, isn't it? Yeah. You know what? I think this might be faster than by. Yeah, it is. All right. In that case, I have a different plan. At ease. There. And Nong Peishan has gained a level. Do this, get more public order and wherever I put you in charge of. Uh, you're the only one. Upgrade. I'm not gonna purchase any new more buildings this turn. But our armies are in. Crazy. What happened to you? I guess it doesn't really matter. All right. We have a scheme available too. I don't think that they really wanted to use. Can't use either of the. Yes, I can't really use anything that's helpful here. Can't use anything that would give me more credibility, which is what I'd like, if possible. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do now. As long as the Kingdom of Wu doesn't declare war on me, I think I can win this war. I, I think I can win this relatively quick. Yeah. Yeah. You may at this point be able to tell what I'm planning already, but if not, you will see it soon. The Jim Du. Bring back Sao Sao. I will rid China of strife. Cultivate patience. One. To duty. Time to consider. Welcome, yeah, my lord. Can get an Your presence is heartening. Summer's glance washes the land with a golden glow. Uh, unfortunately, Eden, that doesn't ring any bells. Not that particular line, at least. Oh, nice. Got a new uh, title I can hand out if I want. 
Yeah, if I remember the series, I would be able to... If I would be able to remember the series, I'd remember when it happened, but I do not remember either. I am here to serve, my lord. All right, let's see. Also recall I am at your disposal, army. my lord. What do you wish, my lord? And next turn we'll redeploy them around Jungdu as well. Yeah, it's only going to take her three more turns to get here. Well, after this two turn, two more. You get the idea. Uh, let's see. And then we have some upgrades to do. That. You're an administrator. Oh, Lu Ji got an upgrade. Uh, do this. Night battles and the fire arrows for your riders should be a good idea. Where is Lupe, by the way? Not that I really care, but I'm in, kind of I'm vaguely interested in knowing what why. You Rui Rui. Sure, I'll give you that. Why not? It doesn't really matter at this point. Like I said before, I thought that redeploying wouldn't have costs associated with it, but I guess because of that thing we did, it does not. Chuo Feng. Um, uh, we'll just, uh, what I actually probably do is just, like, we feel honored. I don't actually need this, and it would take so long to build it up to something I actually want. Um, I mean, auxiliaries I want. Nope. Um, yeah, just have it. It will be foolish not to seize this. I really don't. I can't. I can't be forced to care enough to actually make them buy that. Like on top of that, I should probably give them on ding as well. But that one's actually giving me a decent amount of food, so I'll consider it. Meanwhile, continue working towards our end game and demolish whatever the heck that is, and we'll upgrade this into a proper city. Tiger prowling in the camp panics the guards. The screams awake your general, who leaps from their tent half dressed and wrestles the beast to the ground until it is properly subdued. Moments later, another tiger's roar is heard, but it turns out to be the contented snores of your general coming from his tent. That is how Dion Wei inspires the masses to fight. It is honestly quite impressive. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, we can do Rainbow Tigers and one prey again. Need more credibility. Nice, because now I think I have 75, so I could do another proxy war if I wanted. First, let's see. Two potential vassals, but not neither is one I'm interested. Still won't abdicate. Uh, we could convince King Ming Huo to have peace with us, but I don't care. Uh. Aggression packs. Free access. Yeah. Yeah, I can't really be bothered to do any of these. Yeah, at this point, anyone who's with us hates us, and there's actually some people in my group that hate me even though, even under my protection. Just fine. Like, if they really have a problem, they can feel free to try and become independent and then watch as I send a swarm of armies after them. I don't even need to fight that myself. I have enough vassals that I can send vassals to fight vassals uh, if they decide to not be vassals. Alright, let's see. So, two more turns. 
And on this turn, we'll bring back Selpi's army, which has no uh, redeployment cost whatsoever. Awesomely. Remain pure. To enlightenment. I wanted to. I could actually bring Yue Jin's army over as well, but I don't. I want to at least have one army up here. And if I need to, I can build another. But in either case, I am assured of the fact that I can afford to spend money to continue building up infrastructure instead of focusing on other things. Or I want to upgrade that. P. Upgrade that. That, that. If there's anything that's not a the upgrade I can do right now. King, Shao, Wan Ling. No. Uh, no. Huh. We can upgrade the Academy Complex into the Grad Academy. Alright. Then. G can be upgraded. Give her composure. Alright. Time has almost arrived. The appointed hour is almost here. Two schemes of vehicles. One of them, if it is Dominion over the realm, so I can activate this immediately, get more credibility, and get a new tech. The uh, trade influence. You know what? Let's go for over one more trade agreement. See if we can Autumn. use that this anywhere. I hope. Yeah, I did. had a feeling. Yeah, he's not. He's not willing. To, he's not up to it. That's fine. All right. Got some people to upgrade. Uh, no, not that. Reset that. I want this. Thank you. And that. All right. And then, um, uh, I guess I could afford this start upgrading. I mean, I have 193 food, so I suppose that I can be bothered to upgrade some more things. I'd rather not upgrade anything into more regional city. I can only get more than that. Uh, uh, Eesh. I have a lot of large cities, I'm noticing. Ha! Ah. You into a large city. Already a small regional city. Alright. Alright. Oops. I'm gonna do that. Um. Alright. Yeah, I don't want to overdo food. I don't want to upgrade all those cities and then suddenly find out that I accidentally overdid it and don't have food during the winter.
Huh. Oh well. Don't care about that. Alright, so. It is now time to bring the ultimate, All my final stratagem unite. into play. Resist corruption and endure hardships. Everyone be ready. Ready yourselves. Raise the main soul. We're going on a Uh because we're going on a journey. Right over here. Gonna take eight turn. Eight turn. Uh, at least for South out. Important one. I'm gonna take you seven. Alright. South South's getting a bit slow in his old age, it seems. Oh, he's really getting low in his old age. Whoops. Art? It would be folly. Troops! All right. Oh, you got the lame. Oh well, that's fine. You didn't need the instinct or the Master movement speed. Of consequences. Such is the nature of being a commander. Let us talk trade. I appreciate the thought, but not yet. Ever onwards. Not quite Regardless. yet, Shichin. Not quite yet. Get a little further along first. By a little, I mean a lot. It's gonna be a long voyage along the coastline, but it will be worth it. Another branch grows and sprouts. An exquisite weapon. Take a look. What is that exquisite weapon? A war glaive. I actually like that. To war. Do I have any? I shall not waver. Aha! What do. do you wish to know? Show who you on. Take this. Ah, lovely. Oh, this is why the others move so fast. Let's do that. Yeah. Bolster that a bit, hey? All as one. And also, Johu Dune is, for some reason, leveling up at sea. Um, do consideration so you gain courage. Then we'll do this. Don't need another assignment. I guess just get more money from, or rather, get more footage. Then I can afford to just upgrade more cities without having the care. Much. The, eh. They're upgrading large cities into all regional cities. Well, I can't help with that. What do you want me to do? It's code men's. I'm not going to try and compete with loudness with that. But oh, we also don't need the food. Let's make this a spice trading point. That sounds nice. And that's already a small regional city. We got passes. I don't want to upgrade. Large city will upgrade that. And Dang's a large city will upgrade that. Basil. Small regional city, so we won't upgrade that. Yeah, P, small regional. Hey, anarchic small regional. Reason. Probably because of who we took it from, I guess. Uh, 
Oh, actually, we didn't take it from one of the bandit factions, did we? Whatever. Uh, do that. Alrighty! Alright, we'll do that. Alright. Under one banner. And then I'll reassign the orders because there have been some changes made. Uh then Dion Way. Unto this way. D way. That was how we want to see. Hopefully no one will bump into each other. Yeah, if no one bumps into each other, then we're good. That is all I want. And the best part is, we have so many military technologies that bolster our military supplies on top of people having auxiliaries, followers, and just natural traits that help boost it. So you can afford to just have them go full speed on the seas at any season and not have to worry about our uh, military supplies running out. We have really good supply lines. The best in China, we didn't go so far as to say. That is the key to victory. A new child has been born into our glorious empire. I could send Lady Fang to go infiltrate some. I feel like that's us. Oh, did Jing Jung have a daughter? I think. Uh, but of course, as usual, all the options for praying spy types from my vassals, although in theory, if it's one of the vassals that doesn't like me, it might, might be worth it, but let's go ahead and infiltrate Liu Yan via Liu Don. Do that. Let's have, let's have some fun with it. And we'll see. That gains 7 per turn, that gains 30, so definitely want to do this. There we go. Any other turn that I might want to make use of? I could pick Liu in Liu Chi action because he doesn't like me, right? Um, yeah, he doesn't. He really doesn't like me, so let's go do that. Ace. Good, he can just do this. Very nice to see that there are people who don't get caught doing things and doesn't require me to spend extra resources to fix their mistakes. Alright. Clarity shines the path to peace. Now Alright, that's good. If they all move around each other while moving that would be very nice. Or at least move in such a way that they don't get in each other's way. Which appears to be the case. Very nice. Yeah. Yep, looks like we're good. So I, can, so I don't even have to command them to move anymore. They'll just keep moving on their own until they get there. Now the one question I have is, will Cao Cao live long enough for see this siege? See what is going to happen. And of course, the reason that I asked this, let's see, that was probably one of these, one of these. The reason I, I, I asked this is, He's getting old. Let's all be honest. Not as spry as he used to be. He's like 59, 60 now. Which 
Like, this is a long time in the past, so that's old. Like, the fact that he's still kicking is amazing. On his part. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Uh. How many turns is that gonna be? Like, four? I think it's like four from now. This. Oh, that's Shi Chin. I also appreciate that at least with the uh, auto movement, they appear to be moving in such a way that they automatically path around each other and thus avoid the issue of them um, bumping into each other and stopping. Which absolutely happens on land at least. Sometimes. Of course, as far as movement goes, land uh, by nature of terrain is often a much more limiting factor than water is unless the there's like a storm or something but that's not a that's not a constant occurrence even if a place is plagued by storms it's not a storm that's always happening in the same place you know so it is a bit different Alright, we got another one of these things. Just gonna hurry along through that. We do have another scheme available, so let me check to make sure that we can, can do another thing that will give us a booster to our force. I think I got Hawker and Tiger maneuvered. So, we have a lot of this. Let's see. Uh, the people who aren't with me. Be grateful I allow you an audience. Curious to see if we can. Get you to. Are you already at war with? Might already be at war with Ming Huo. You are. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I don't think there's actually any way I can send. Wait, let me let me check the options again just in case. Let's try and get you to fight Liu Ya and just. Spread you out a little bit. I'm doing that. Tell you what. Start with 10,000 and see where we go from there. Alright, so I guess this is 0.5. You have spare auxiliaries, of course. Excellent. All right, so I can pull back some fun. You know what? That's fine. That's that's enough. All right. So yeah, let's get that going. Yes, we accept. Got a proxy war going. Excellent, excellent. Uh, not quite ready to try and make peace with Meng Huo yet. And the Duchy of Yan is definitely not interested in us. Oh, I can trade with Shi Chin. Something changed at some point, I suppose. But whatever, I'll take more money. Bid. I'll always take more money. He, no one to confederate, no one to demand abdication from. You know, Wu is actually more resistant to it now. Which I suppose makes sense, because I'm actually considered untrustworthy at this point because of broken deals. And because I'm no longer fighting against enemies of the Alliance. That's probably the biggest thing. Now let's see, any more spies I can, that might be one. So, now, Wong, Young, Chao, Yang Zhang. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. We'll you building this up. So, yep. And hopefully soon we can try and see about getting some of these going. On Liu Chi. Similarly, we want to just do that. 
And we let this build up by itself again. Because I believe... Oh no, you're not one of the family members. You're just part of this. Yeah, if we can, like, cause some issues. That would be delightful. Alright. And nothing else to do, really. So let's uh, continue letting our armies move on and on. And onwards and on. And move along and on. On and on and onwards and on and along and along and onwards. I like watching the move and then see the point where you get the little symbol that comes up where you can apply a scheme to indicate that you could, I could use Hawk and Tiger maneuver on them. Even though I've already ended the turn, so I can't actually access those because by the time I get to control them again, it'll be next turn and their movement range will be reset anyway. It's kind of pointless. Kind of pointless. Angho has formed a coalition with Lady Zhuang again. The one in my faction Remain has come of age. Resident. Left. Looks like their capital is being has two armies, but their garrisons. I mean, they got the you know the really cool like protectors of heaven and defenders of earth going on, but army wise, this feels very imbalanced. Uh, in my favor, obviously. Got some new trades going on. We got Lu Ji and Chen Ju deciding that they're actually that they they each decide the other is good people. I'll take a quick look in here and see if there's any interesting people just to have. Nope. And we'll look at the spies again, see if we get any more codes that I might be interested in. Not appear to be the case. All right. And so now we're just waiting on these people to get more, build up their cover. I can try and perform some actions. And we will let time flow. Zoom in along the coast. Zoom in. Is unstoppable. Ah, there it goes. There it goes. We're gonna escalate this to an alliance war, obviously. All right, they're gonna go take that city back. That's fine. That's an. Oh, Liu Yan died. Which makes sense, he was old to begin with. Surprised he lived this long. This will benefit you greatly. Yeah, I'll accept that. Why not? We are in concert this day. I mean, what am I gonna do? Not keep Liu Bei my most powerful vassal? First I'm gonna First I'm gonna declare on whoever is dumb enough to declare war on Liu Bei. Oh, they took back Ping Yuan. Alright. I'm gonna need to build up another army, I think. What a shame, right? 
going to be so expensive to do. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Administrator of. Eh, it doesn't matter. Warriors, attend! On. Resist the chaos of change. If we get someone else. Young Jun. That works. Sprout ever upward. Summon the merchants. I would browse their goods. Alright, so we'll switch these out. Uh, we'll take... We'll just take a full complement of these guys. We're a very offensively leaned uh, army. And then... Imperial Household Cavalry. Ooh, those are nice. I like them. Yes. Four of those. We'll take two Defenders of Earth. We'll switch out these guys for... Or protectors of heaven. And we'll take four of those. And then again, two defenders of Earth. That is a not insignificant army right there. Are you having fun over there, Kogios? Or commenting, I suppose, Eden? Get some tiger cubs over here. Don't need to give them the full. Oh no, wait. Salren is one of the is part of the family. I should be giving them the real household cavalry. My bad. Yeah, let's bolster up our forces in preparation for fighting against the Duchy of Gon. Upgrade these guys into these. Yes, yes, yes. We'll get the heavy crossbowmen. Well, if you don't know, then that means there is a theoretical chance. So there's that at least. All right. Yep, that should be good. Go so away for that. Then these two armies combined should be able to just take Anping in one go. Unless neither of them have a siege weapon. Nope, this one does. Okay, yep, we can do that. And then... We'll start trade influence. That'll help us get a little more money back. Do the faction council. Do we have anything that can... Ooh, we could just totally wreck one of their cities. Uh, We could instigate a rebellion. I don't think that's necessary. Um... This could, could do this. This would help. Yeah, this would be a good idea. Help ensure ish, uh, that there's less issues there. Uh, or we could smear an empire contender. I don't think that's necessary. Let's uh, let's just wait. Where's that option? Ah, here we go. Yeah, so we'll take a political vassal from Liu Dai. That'll prevent them from being an issue. And we have more schemes ready to go. Let's prepare rival tigers and one prey. And uh, Hawk and Tiger maneuvers on Anue. Even though she's not going to be moving anywhere anyway, just to sort of get the points. We have two slots, so actually, I not do anything here. That's unfortunate. Why do I not have any options there? Here, here. Okay, so that has to be within my territory, within the same county as one of my. In territory, a neutral. Okay, so I can only use these on the enemy when they're in my territory, so that's why I can't do it on the. Do that there. That. That's enough. We are as one. You know what? Let's get military infrastructure here to bolster up their defenses. All right. Yep. That should be good. All right. So, 
we have prepared the uh, for acting there. Looks like we can in fact uh beach. Docking. We can dock we can we can uh make landfall right Docking. here. Coming into dock. Coming into dock. It cannot be done. Impossible. My aim is precise. Unification requires discipline. Oh wait. Ever upwards. You right there. I will bring order to China at any cost. No. Uh, there ready we go. Alright. We're almost ready to go. And let's see, what does your army look like? Uh-huh. And then your army, uh-huh, uh-huh. Personic. Those aren't actually those are actually not bad. We have protectors of heaven, so I'm inclined to do this. Yeah. We'll do that on that. And then on your actual city that is your capital. Two bears, one kill. Excellent. Alright. Well, Eden, this is the part we may want to start paying attention, because next turn, I plan to end this. Or, you know, end it within the next couple turns. Point is, things are about to get interesting. They have impeded our logistics. That's fine. I don't care. What do we got going on over here? Are they besieging anything? They are besieging something. How rude. Can we get over there and turn if I do this? Yes. Ready yourselves! Very good. Then UA Jin over here. Strike as one. And we'll delegate. There we go. Righteousness one. Just take care of that easily and quickly. Get rid of more of the enemy's general. Sure. They serve no purpose for us. And replenishment. All right. Well, that's good. We should be able to push in there. As for this. China's plight demands merciless actions. Standard stance. Thrust with conviction and strike true. Marching. Oh, here. Meditate on peace. Prepare for war. Here. Steal for battle. And here. With purpose. For China. All right. Prepare yourselves for the final battle. It doesn't matter who trusts me or not. All that matters Wipe is victory. Out. I hereby demand your surrender. But if you choose not to, that is all fine by me. Today. We remove a threat to China! Ready the encampment. We camp here tonight. Actually, you know what? Why don't Standard we move back starts. over here? At least a little bit closer. Remain firm. No, you can't Secure move the from perimeter. there anyway. Uh, well, my, I'll just have you move one. here then. All right. We now have their capital completely under siege. Uh, as you can see, uh, Junche uh, has a significant amount of territory. And then, of course, there's Zhuo Si who declared war on Liu Bei for some reason. Kind of weird when it happened, if I'm honest. We brought you dead. Alright, let's see. Is anyone going to have peace with Zhuo Si for some, some reason? He, I am not in the mood. He, he wasn't really up to this. Feels like. We 
You know what? Let's well, let's take the opportunity. To give her. I don't know if I do it by this, hold on. Go straight to a thousand. See how he feels about that. Oh, perfect. We will persevere, regardless. All right. Mediate peace with Lady Zhirong. Liu Zhang. And that's it, this because we're at war with everyone else that they would be at war with. Alright, uh, so that's the only peace we can have. I mean, theoretically, we could have peace with other ways, but I'm not willing to pay that much for it. Uh... Alright. Now if we go back to the Duchy of Yon. How are you guys feeling over I here? I hoped you dead. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's call all my vassals in. We'll see is you now one of my vassals. Not you again. He's willing to go for peace again. But at this point, I don't trust him anymore. So I will make sure to grind him into the dust. All right. Just to verify. Be grateful I allow you an audience. Oh, I have. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, I have several vassals I can call in for this. Bring your Do that. eyes. Prepare them for death. And then we all go back to Kingdom. Be grateful I allow you an audience. Yeah, I think so. Let's declare an empire war. Oh yeah, we're going all in with untrusty readiness at this point. Insult which will result in your end. Congratulations, Eden. One such as you has no place here. All right, let's see how this goes. Some things are better gained through trade. Your decision. Good work, Eden. Good work. Turn to base and get yourself a mango flavored Pepsi because those are apparently a thing that exists. Actually, they're not bad. Like, I wouldn't have them all the time, but they make a nice break from traditional Pepsi. I just got a new weapon. Ooh, Kendra Jiana, I got the Book of Songs. No, not mayo flavor, mango. Mango, the fruit, you fool. Why would it be mayo flavored? Mango! Hold on. It's spelt like this, you nerd. Like that! Mango! Pepsi! Pepsi! Eden! When you come back to base, get your ears checked before you get the mango flavored Pepsi. Also, can you guys do the things I wanted yet? Might be able to. Or not. Or not. Darn it. Hey, why can't you not assassinate the leader? Oh, you are leading an army. Okay, that's why you can't target either of them. Okay. Alright, as long as we're on the same page now. As long as we're on the same page now, Eden. That's fine. Alright. Restore authority. So yeah, for those of you who aren't paying attention, I have now besieged the uh, other kingdom's capital with four full armies. 
Uh, meanwhile, the Duchy of Yon decided to declare war on me again for some ungodly reason, and is now going to pay the price as the forces of Gang Su Shu Xiang, Jing Jiang, and Kong Grong are working together with me to repel them. Point forwards as one. And I fully intend Party. to take advantage of the enemy's foolishness to try and goad them Remain into a position where they will put quickly. themselves in an unfavorable position. Draw inwards. Like so. Prepare the camp. Which is of course compounded by the fact that I have upgraded the armies in my in the north. Make them individually very powerful forces containing high quality units that I believe are also maxed veterancy, which makes them even more powerful than they normally would be. But right now it is once again become a bit of a waiting game as I wait for my siege efforts to break down the walls of the capital. Even as Sun Che attempts to rally his forces to try and uh, relieve the beleaguered forces of his capital. Uh, let's see. Uh, Xi Ping. This will benefit you greatly. Uh, Lu Bei asks for assistance against Lady Zhirong. I will obviously be more than happy to provide I am it. Pleased for your gratitude. Mainly because I won't actually be doing anything. That just means that all my vassals will help Liu Bei, is what that basically comes down to. I am very busy at the moment, trying to eliminate, or trying to remove the threat of the largest faction in the game, other than myself. So, understandably, I have other things to do. So that being said, I will go to Quick Deal and check to see if anyone wants peace. Uh, King Meng Huo is actually willing to negotiate. Dead. And with a guarantee of autonomy, and perhaps a payment of, uh, let's say, let's, let's start with 3,000. 3,000 is a nice number. Oh yeah, he's more than willing to take that. Yeah, let's do that. For my people. And now another one of the tribes has uh, joined me. A reasonable offer. Agreed. A successful bid. And on top of that... Sorry about that. And on top of that, doing so has also stripped Lady Zhurong of her only ally. Which has now made things far more difficult for her going forward. Which is, of course, to be expected. And at this point, because of the upgrades to my army, uh, I am now objectively a stronger force, uh, militarily speaking, than Sun Che. So we're gonna take a quick moment here and on. Ah, so so. We're gonna take a look at how the siege is going on. No mercy. Uh, as you can see, uh, one of our sapping efforts has completed, and we've been able to open up a hole quite literally in the enemy's defenses and between that and the uh, attrition that they're taking they're now in a severely weakened position however none. actually no uh i was about to say we might as well wait but you know what this is going to be the final battle of the campaign if if i do it right now so you know what Let's see Yeah, you know what? Let's just go do that. Show fury. Do a quick save just cuz. Let's begin what should be the final battle. Alright, now that we're here, let's take a look around the battlefield. Now, the first thing that we need to take note of 
is that we have the break in the wall here, which allows us to enter without having to climb the walls. This obviously means that this is our best option for trying to enter the enemy zone. And so for that reason, we'll move over here. We will also additionally have these forces enter the turtle stance. This will allow them to more easily avoid taking as much damage from the enemy fire. Whoops, forgot about that. My apologies. And we're going to just do this. Get them a little bit more bundled up, so to speak. And they will be the first line that will be moving to advance towards the enemy's uh, position. Meanwhile, our Qingzhou assault infantry will, in fact, attempt to assault the walls while the heavy spear guards hopefully take enemy fire from the towers for them so that they can climb the walls and secure the towers and uh, prevent them from firing on the rest of our forces. Meanwhile, cavalry will take up a position uh, behind for the moment. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me make sure that these guys are facing the right way because they're currently on the other side of the castle and thus are likely not facing the right way. There we go. And so our cavalry will be behind the spearmen uh, until we've assured that they've taken the uh, majority of the enemy fire. And then we'll determine, based on what happens to be blocking this area right here, whether or not to send the cavalry force first or continue to have the spear guards uh, take the brunt of the enemy assault. Finally, we'll have, of course, our archer units in the back that provide supporting fire against any forces that may be on the walls or through the gaps so that we can uh, weaken them, soften them up for the main offense. Meanwhile, very fortunately for us, our reinforcements appear to be coming from these positions. So we'll have them flow in and have them also move in on this section of the enemy reinforcements. Unless we don't do that. There is, in fact, something else that we can... The time has come. If we prepare the Eagles... And we'll set up our forces like so here. And the reason that we will be At doing this... Take heed, warriors! Ride. Ready to ride? Ready. What we're going to be doing here instead, now that I've put additional thought into it, is we're going to deploy our main army here solely for the reasons of distracting the enemy forces as the rest of our reinforcements arrive from the back. They will then be able to take advantage of the open position here and the reduction in forces that will be approaching them due to having our main army on the other side so that they will have an easier time of making it through. Look, as I will now demonstrate, as you can see, our army is right over here, ready to accept whatever they intend to throw our way. It looks like they may... Oh no, they're just lining up their forces there. As you can see, they're already starting to move some of their forces to try and uh, cut us off. Unfortunately for them, it is going to be far too late. Even if they manage to get a, a significant of the portion of their forces to the other side, they can't hold both lines at the same time. 
That is just a fact, of course. Matter, of course, that is. And we'll just make sure to move our army like so. As you can see, the enemy forces are moving around. Although it's not immediate obvious, immediately One obvious what they are planning to the doing. Okay, what's happening? Oh. The enemy army is still maintaining their initial lines, which seems like somewhat of a mistake Only for them. Only the grave awaits you! It saddens me to hear you act so crudely! In the meantime, however, I will have the three generals on this side move in towards... Actually, no, we'll have the three generals just move in. Having them charge in is probably a more efficient course of action at this point. You like, must be tired by now. Moving over here to try the and take control of these towers. Spineless and so are you. Meanwhile, uh, the reinforcements are moving in. We have now taken over these towers, I believe. Yep. Show no mercy. Neon Wei is here, so we can try and see about getting a duel. Show them justice! Alright, and Neon Wei has successfully gotten that duel to go through. March so we'll have down. our commanders then work on taking over these towers. Neon Wei will activate this. Prepare! Let's just send in all these forces in. They should all go through that pass, since it's the only cur it's currently the only way inside. The enemy army is beginning to move to try and deal with the change Take strategy, heed, or rather the change. Move out quickly. To deal with the fact that we've now moved forces around, but Come we'll on. see how much good it does. Sure, you could do better. Focus your efforts on the enemy, perhaps! Double time! March at the double! Meanwhile... We have taken control of their tower! Hooray! Was that really the best you could do? Come on, Dion Wake, back on the horse. Battle! 
Now we'll just break down this gate, charge straight in. Now that their army has moved over here, if they, we manage to break through the gate over there, we should be able to just completely crush their forces on the other side. Ready! The time has come! Do not relent! Protectors of Heaven, on the other hand, are proving to be a bit of an ready. annoyance. Standard formation! No longer target the lock. We'll never put. No longer put in the locked target group in the hopes that we can uh, just get in and advance in. Prepare! Finding fury. fury of the earth. That should help. And you can see the enemy towers are starting to burn down. We do technically own them, but the enemy unit flees. What cowards! I'm trying to get through this gate. are getting very rough for my computer. As you can see, the frame weight is struggling. Stand ready. But we'll just do this, give ourselves melee evasion, charge resistance, and unbreakable, so no one's going to run while that's active. Activate Binding Fury, Fury again. To attention. Attack. And we're Attack. gonna start taking some of these forces and trying to have them move in. Kill them. Strike. Steal yourself. Destroy them. Basically try and try and re divert forces. Other locations. Take heed, warriors. The on way is here. This gate's getting close. Attend. All right. Crossbows. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have crossbows run, run. move like this so that they have clear move, line of move. sight. And they'll just be able to fire Make it as ready. needed. Attack! Axeman! Show no mercy! Looks like more of the enemy, the enemy forces are starting to retreat. Ready. Yep. Spears! Kill them! To battle! To and attention! We'll try and see if we can get the tiger clubs go, over go, here. Go. And then the all the Jingcho assault spears will head this way. Unleash fury! These guys will head over Show here and engage mercy. them. To attention! Go there. How's this gate going? 83% almost through. Once those guys are through, we'll just march them to the other side and this will be over. Which it basically already is anyway, but. Send them to crash into the mercenary infantry from the side. Yanwei is still doing a great job of holding the line. Somewhat surprisingly.
Get through this door. Get through this gate. Crossbows. We've done it. We're in. Press the attack. The gates are destroyed. Get through this gate. Their tower is ours. I don't have any more reinforcements right now, right? Right. All right. Horses, stand ready. Destroy them. Advance. Crush them! Victory, is all, victory will be ours, we just have to seize it! Steal yourselves! Move! Tell P, get the in there! City is ours. Fighting is fierce. And they actually have decent troops with all those mercenary infantry, but, but, however, my forces are still superior. Oish, oish. And the enemy forces are starting to break. This definitely won't help. Making my forces unbreakable definitely does not help. Alright, bring the rest of our forces around. Make ready! Ready! Attack! Now it's time to send Attend. our Stand generals ready. to deal with their generals. Because once the generals break, the rest of the army should as well. The enemy warriors are running. There we go. Ah. <sighs> Perhaps just a wee bit messy, but. You call it a close victory, but like I didn't. I had like at least two armies worth of forces that I didn't even deploy into that fight, and only one army's worth even took significant losses. Thousand's army took basically no losses other than the archer militia, which were being shot at by their towers. And you can see on the right there what happened to the enemy. It was not pretty. It is just as it should be. Yeah, we didn't even lose as many as the enemy did. Oh yeah, let's see, this is a decisive victory. That makes more sense. You know what? I'll let you go. May they remember my mercy. They are insignificant. And with that, an empire seat. A second and last emperor seat has been captured. We shall enjoy. Destiny is wrought in steel and measured in blood. China cannot endure the chaos of man's aspiration forever. Cao Cao has realized the means of victory. Opportunity has been taken. And all resistance crushed. The will of the divine bends to his decree. The empire, long divided, must unite. Beneath an emperor with celestial authority to rule. A dynasty to endure forever.
And there we go. And you can see here we get that uh, delightful little view. So if we go back to, let's see, go back to the very beginning. You can sort of see, I don't know if you can quite see, but like, well, you can sort of see what the map looks like, but like, as we start jumping ahead in the years, let's take a look at how that map Our changes, Our victory huh? is proof of heaven's approval. Shut up, I'm trying to do something here. As you can see, in the early game, there's a lot of changes going on in ownership of territories, especially as different factions take from the Han and start settling certain areas. Like, you can... This also is probably based on which factions I'm aware of, so... Like, this is what I'm aware... The, so, you, like, the number of colors also increases as I come into contact with more people, but... Like, you can see, between 195 and 196, I ran into, uh... I don't remember if... I think Soon Chain might have been ruling at this by this point. I can't remember, but... You can see that... Yeah, that blob of sort of purplish as I was expanding outwards and then started moving after Yuan Shao and I slowly swallowed him up north of the Yangtze River. We had the final blow actually being taken by uh, Zheng Zheng, I believe. And then you have Long Suzan in the white above me. And then you can see that uh, people were solidifying their power on the west. And then Long Suzan actually started uh, taking from... Gong Zhuo's faction. And in the south, you can sort of see that Sun Che was really expanding outward. And then this is the point right here where I started, uh, you can sort of see I started absorbing people when I became the emperor and I absorbed several factions and confederated them. Got a lot of allies and started pushing back against Zong, uh, Gong Suzan in the kingdom of Yan. Which became the Duchy of Yan, of course. And then at the end, I pushed south. And won the game. And then we can go to the statistics. Favorite character was in 33 battles. Zhao Hudun, who at the end of the campaign was age 60. He is also notable for getting a thousand, uh, 1,800 kills during the course of the campaign which itself took 132 turns over the course of 26 in-game years. Uh, Xiao Houdun, of course, was one of the longest serving along with his brother. I don't know why they prioritized Xiao Houdun for that. And then Zhu Chu was uh, in two successful duels. Uh, not many duels. Uh, did a lot more politicking and manipulating of people than straightforward combat throughout a lot of this. Then on the left, you can see total active characters 128. I recruited 11. 78 characters died in service. I don't. I think this might be across the entire game. I don't think. I'm not sure. Characters left the faction 217. Anxiaries gained 115. Uh, the current counties held by the end of the game was 41. 31 captured. Six a lost due to some uh, back and forth that we had with, especially near the end, with the Duchy of Yan. Uh, current commander is held 16. Most commander is held was 17. My population reached 38 million. I had an, I ended up with 10 forces total. Uh, total forces that were established with eight current forces, which is also the most I had at once. Uh, nine administrators. Uh, 11 promotion people promoted to administrators throughout the campaign. None of them rebelled. Which, if you're paying attention, uh, should not end up having, happening to you ever. Uh, constructed 194 buildings, which I assume includes upgrades. Researched 33 reforms, which is... 7 more than I should have, considering that I only spent 26 in-game years. No civil wars, 1 rebellion in my lands, 9 characters executed. 63 deals, uh, 1,100 deals made by others, uh, between everyone, not just with me. I rejected 96 deals, uh, 1,600 total deal deals were rejected by others. I broke 14 deals, 166 deals were broken by others. 
four alliances and coalitions. Only two were left at the end. 14 vassals established. Uh, basically all of them through me. Two confederations made, both by me. 126 factions encountered. Six destroyed. I assume that's by me, because I think there was a lot more that got destroyed over the course of the campaign. One... Uh, uh, I ended with one current war. Uh, five wars total. Uh, total number of, I don't know why total number of wars is zero. That's weird. Two war declarations. That's correct. Uh, current trade agreements was eight. Most trade agreements, nine. 34 auxiliaries traded. Two counties traded away. 14 counties gained from trade. I ended up paying 94k over the course of the campaign in, via diplomacy, but gained 722,000. Arranged two marriages, economy, lots of numbers. We're starting to get to a point where the I don't want to talk small, about numbers anymore. Lots of units recruited, some of them lost, some destroyed. I assume that this is over total. Uh, battles, lost 1,500 soldiers, but over the course of battles, but responsible for 41,000 kills. So definitely gave more than I got. Highest number of kills by one character was 249. If I had Lu Bu, that number would be significantly higher. Fought 52 battles total, 18 of which I fought personally, and the other 34 were auto result. 8 land battles, 15 siege battles, 22 resource settlement battles, 3 encampment battles, 1 ambush battle, 1 naval engagement, and 48 total victories, 4 defeats. Uh. Yep. And I only ever occupied settlements, never looted them, raised them, or sacked them. And with that, there you go. Uh, we'll continue campaign just for a moment. As I am now in charge of China. And I've unified China because the other requirement was to control 95 settlements either by direct ownership or through military allies, which... Uh, that total ended up being 129, so significantly more than required. And so now, let's see if I can just, uh... Be brief. Yes, it I was in no fact victory for, for Vegeta. Yes, we accept. I will now make peace with the Dutch... The, it still says King Nobu, this but it should be, be the short. Duchy of Wu. And with the yes, Duchy of Yuan. And not much else I can do. Oh, you know what? Let's be grateful let's... I allow you an audience. Aggression audience. Work. I'll pay you for that. Your terms are fair. Uh, because the declare because when I declared war on the Kingdom of Wu, we had uh, agreements going on that I broke to declare war with them so I could eliminate them without them suspecting that I was going to betray them. They didn't expect that I was going to betray them, but it happened. And uh, I benefited One from it, obviously. You has no yes, we accept. But it doesn't matter because I won! Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. There we go. Alright. Yep. Good try and go for him. Eh, it's fine. Anyway, I have now made peace with the Kingdom of Wu. I don't know why they're still called the Kingdom of Wu. That seems kind of odd. But regardless, I'm now no longer at war with anyone uh, except for Lady Jurong, which is unfortunate for her. She would presumably be stamped out with time if I took care to go that far. In the uh, eventually, if I were to keep playing this, uh, I won't. But if I did, I would put concentrated effort into wiping out the Duchy of Yan, or at least putting it in a position where it would no longer be strong enough to even think of declaring war against me. Then focus on the Kingdom of Wu, slowly dismantle it with the help of my vassals and allies, and then at that point, uh, at that point, there was nothing that would be significant enough that I would actually need to ever directly participate in war again. I would just be able to rely on my allies to take care of things from that point. 
And I was able to beat the entire game before Sao Sao died of old age. How old is he now? He's 61. I did not expect him to live long enough to uh, see victory. Usually he dies and then Sao P is the one who would end up being the lead faction leader, which is canonically accurate. And then, of course, Sima Yi ends up killing or wresting control from Sao P and establishes a new dynasty instead because Sao P was corrupt. But, you know, let's not get into that right now. The point is, is that this is mine. Everything the light touches is my kingdom. And so I, the general of 10,000 victories, am now the emperor of 10,000 victories. And with that, I hope that you enjoyed. And until next time, I, the emperor of 10,000 victories, bid you adieu. And a pleasant rest of the year, and last year, and next year, 10 years from now, 10 years ago. And, you know, if you live long enough, a pleasant hundred years. But if not, you know, however long you end up living. You know, I, I'm not going to try and predict that kind of thing. That's like, like the goddess of life or time thing, probably. One of those two. Whatever. Go live. Be happy. Do something like that.